What you guys got another video here for you. In this one we're going to be looking at how to clear your Windows Update cache when your Windows Update fails to install. Now what we're going to do here is just simply clear the cache and that will sometimes rectify a lot of the problems that you may be having. So what we're going to do here is first open up a command prompt and then we're going to right click on this and run this as administrator. Okay, so what we want to do is first we need to stop some services, otherwise we're not going to be able to delete any of the files. So the first one we need to do is go net stop wuau and then serv. That's the first one we're going to stop. We're going to start these up once we've finished. Okay, and the next one we need to stop is net stop bits. Okay, so now we've stopped that successfully as well. Okay, so once we've done that, we can now go into the start button here, computer, open that up, go into the C drive, and then Windows. Inside your Windows folder, we're looking for a folder called Software Distribution. Inside here is the files that we need to delete. Okay, so if you're having issues, also what you're going to see inside this folder is a folder a file called Windows Update Log and this is going to give you all the information of all the latest updates that's been happening on the system and any errors that's been happening on the system okay so here you can get some uh, information here okay you can see there's an error there we can see so that's important so the next thing we want to do is come up to our software distribution and uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to delete some files so first off we're going to come into the downloads folder okay and we want to make sure that we're highlighting all of these files inside here okay if you're having issues and we're going to push delete there's 148 items here now don't worry you can always re-download these what's going to happen is sometimes there's an error somewhere and you need to remove all these to make it uh, easier to do your update okay the next one we need to do is data store we're going to go inside there and we're going to delete this data store dot edb and we're going to go into the logs file and we're going to delete all these files inside here also and if you have got a cache like event uh, boot cache you want to empty this out as well okay but this is already empty as you can see once we've done that, we're pretty much good enough to reboot the system. But before we do that, what I'm going to do is start up our services. So the next thing I want to do is type net start wuau and then serv. I'm going to start that up and also net start. bits and that's going to start that service now what we're going to do here now is just quickly reboot the system and uh, hopefully that will be that solved so we're just going to quickly reboot now just let this boot back up and once we get this back up I'll show you some other stuff that you can do if you have any issues okay so that's now back at the desktop I'm sorry if you can hear a whining noise in the background it's my uh, power supply the fans gone on it so what we're gonna do next here is now we're back here I just wanna go to computer here right click and manage this okay click on manage and this is gonna open up our computer management Okay, and then we want to go to event ID, ID viewer. So this is basically an area where we can check for certain areas that may be going wrong if this not if this is not worked. Okay, so once you come in here, we want to go into applications and uh, services logs. Come in here. Come down to where it says Microsoft, and then Windows, and you'll see loads of useful 
folders here but we're looking for Windows Update and what this is going to do is uh, we're looking for Windows Update Client here let's see where we are there we are okay so we've got Windows Update Client there let me just pull that back a bit and uh, we want to go into it operational and once you do that you'll see a load of um, files here and these are the files that are going to show up errors okay if we've had errors on the system you'll be able to open these up uh, like so double click on them and you'll be able to open these up and you can see here Windows uh, received a stop a service stop request that's because we did that in the command prompt so any errors you can trace them back and track them back to what's gone on and you can use a, a site called event ID uh, to uh, diagnose these issues okay and what you're looking for here is the actual event ID number and uh, you've also got the other information like sources and stuff you can actually copy this stuff out okay just click on the copy button there okay so with that done I want to show you one more place you can look at if you've got issues now you want to come up into control panel here and put type T and then click on troubleshooting inside here you want to look for system and security if you look just underneath there you'll see fix problems with Windows updates now you can also try this click on this and go through the motions here and this will try to fix any issues that you may have with your Windows updates okay now you can also use bat files and stuff like that which are very quick and easy and also there's some other programs which you may want to use uh, like this program here this resets all the DLL files and this is done by uh, the Windows Club by uh, Ramesh uh, Kumar you just click on this and this will fix all the Windows update uh, and re-register all the DLL files okay on that you can also use the manual method of uh, a bat file if you wish like so but this does a lot more there's also another quick tool I wanted to show you here which also does another good job which is called tweaking.com uh, it's the Windows repair tool go to start up repairs click start it's going to ask you to make a, a registry backup I would do that or restore point I would do that at this stage I'm just going to say no here and uh, you can see I've got it already ticked here repair Windows updates and if you've got registry uh, reset registry permissions you've got here as well and reset uh, uh, system uh, registry system files and we've also uh, got some other issues here that we can tick uh, reset Internet Explorer or repair Internet Explorer uh, and sometimes that's a normal case remove policies set by infections especially if this is a an infection related issue you can do some of these okay but if you think it's just uh, to do with Windows update then you can actually run this uh, fix here and what that's going to do is just try and do a fix on Windows updates you can see it re-registering all the DLL files there like so and doing some other repairs okay and then it will ask you to restart the system so just one more quick thing here I wanted to show you also Microsoft website here they will have a Windows update error code list which is very useful to help you diagnose your issues okay and as you can see there is a lot of them so when people say I've got a problem with Windows update then you need to be a bit more specific because there is a ton of error codes here which it could possibly be okay so as you can see here the list goes on and on and on and these are all just Windows updates error codes and uh, they will help you fix and diagnose your problems now also uh, Microsoft also have a a reset Windows reset tool which you can actually use and all these links will be in the description you just click on this run now and it will run uh, the Windows update reset uh, tool okay and fix all your issues so with that said I think that's going to be about it for this video I'm going to call this one done so my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos hit that subscribe button guys and also rate and favorite all my videos and I'll be making more useful videos again in the future now if you've got any video requests then just send me some emails or a message or something like that and I'll try and do my best to help you out with that. If you've got any questions about Windows updates or anything like that and you want to put them in the comment below,